Hello everyone, it's PC Alpa here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix DX12 error having messages like error initializing rendering configuration, check video card and drivers, and an access violation has occurred for the game Death Stranding. So in this video, I'm gonna show you all the workarounds that have been working for many users. All the credit of the solutions in this video goes to the users who have posted their solutions in the Steam forum. I've also made a video on how to fix online multiplayer lag in this game, so you can watch that video too by clicking on the link in the description. Also, I've not installed this game in the PC I'm using for recording, so I will demonstrate these steps with the help of any other game. So just before starting, make sure to subscribe to my channel right now for regular gaming content related to this game and many other games. So without any further ado, let's get started. So the first step is a really important one and everyone should perform this step after installing any big game on their PC. So in the first step, we'll be clean booting our PC. And what clean booting does is, it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC then don't worry, I have already made a 4 minutes guide on how to do so. So you can find the link of this video in the description of this one. So watch this video, clean boot your PC and then process to proceed to the second step. So the second solution was posted by one of the users on official steam forum. So this user wrote, what I did that worked for me was, verify integrity of files, no errors came up though, close steam started steam as admin. It was like a desperate last try but now I got past the point of where it crashed for me without problem, hope this help others too. So what you have to do is I'll show you with the help of NBA 2K20. So just search for steam first on your search bar and right click on it and open file location. Right click on this shortcut and go to its properties. And in properties go to compatibility and select run this program as an administrator and apply these settings. And once you have applied it, click on ok and now open steam. Once you have opened your Steam, now you have to go to your library and here select the game Death Stranding but I'll show you with the help of the game NBA 2K20. So just right click on your game Death Stranding and go to its properties. After it go to local files and click on verify integrity of game files. Once you, once you verify the integrity, it will take some time and once it has been processed then it might work for you because it has worked for many users because after this solution was posted, many users confirmed that it was working for them too. So make sure, once you have done it, let me know in the comment section if it works for you. But if it doesn't work for you, then proceed to the third step. So the third solution was also posted by one of the users on the official Steam forum. So this user wrote, solution, download VC runtime 140-1.dll from dllfiles.com and put it to your local game file. So what you have to do is you have to download VC runtime 140-1.dll and then paste it in your games directory. So as you can see C program files into 86 Steam, Steam apps, common, death spending. So I'll show you with the example of NB 2K20 again where you have to paste it. You just have to paste it in your games directory. So first download VC runtime 140-1.dll by searching it on Google and after it open this first link by dllfiles.com. So once you'll click on it, you just have to scroll down and here select 64-bit architecture and download it. Once you click on it, soon your downloading will be started. It might take some time. So once it has been started, you just have to open these files, copy it. As you can see, it has been downloaded. So just open it, copy the vcruntime.dll file and paste it in your death stranding directory. So your directory must be where your Steam has been installed. So my Steam is in my D drive material. No, here it is, Steam and Steam apps common and nb2k20 so i am demonstrating with the help of nb2k20 and paste it here in your death trending directory so once you have done it restart your pc and try running your game again and this helped this user and a few other users too so i hope it helps you too but if it doesn't work then proceed to the fourth step so another reason why this problem occurs is that any of your driver present on your pc is not up to date so you might be thinking that you just updated your windows that you just updated your graphic card then you must not be facing this issue because of this reason but the thing is your game depends on many drivers such as network adapters your mouse drivers your keyboard drivers your display adapters and everything so any of them if is if any one of them is not up to date then also you might be having this problem so what i suggest is you can download any of the software available online to update your drivers at once but I've already made a video on one such software that is Driver Booster 7. So you can just watch my video on this. In this video, I've shown you how to download this software and scan for all drivers and update them at one click. 
so you can just watch my video i will provide the link of this video in the description and try updating all your drivers at once and once you have done it then try running your game and then most probably your problem will be fixed but if it's still not fixed then you can proceed to the last step so this last step is specific to nvidia users only so what you have to do is you have to open your geforce experience and once you're in here you have to go to its settings so it might take some time to load so once you're in here just click on settings and here go to general and scroll down and make sure that your in-game overlays are disabled so by default they are enabled but you have to disable them so it will just load and i by mistake just enable them but you have to disable them so once you have done it so i'll disable it again so once you have disabled it then try running your game it might work for you but if it still doesn't work another user posted on steam that what you can do is you just open your steam as an administrator and again go to this properties and go to local files but this time browse to local files and here for example, i'm taking the example of nb2k20.exe that user posted that just delete the ds.exe file so in my case i have the nb2k20.exe file but you have to delete ds that stands for death stranding.exe file and once you have deleted it then you have to again verify your files so instead of directly verifying the integrity of game files first delete ds.exe and then try verifying the integrity of game files and then restart your pc and then try running your game and it might help you so i think that's it for this video that's all what i was able to find in this time so if i find any other probable fix then i will let you know in the comment section or if i find many fixes then i'll again make a video on this topic so if you found this video helpful please hit the like button if you have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe for more thank you and have a nice day